The goal of this video will be to graph two different logarithmic functions. So the first one we're going to graph is a common log, and the way we know it's common is because a base, a small subscript ring down to the bottom, is not given. So we automatically know that's 10. So our calculator automatically knows the common log, and we have this button. So to graph it, we go to y equals, we would just press our log button, and for this operating system, the parentheses automatically comes up, and we want the log of our variable, x. So, once we've entered in our function, we can press graph, and we see the graph of our logarithm. Now, even though it appears our graph stops here, it actually continues to go down. We have a vertical asymptote at x is equal to zero. So, we can go to our table. So, all we have to do is press the second button in table in order to access that. And as you can see, there's an error on the other side because we cannot take the log of a negative number. So, the first point that you actually read is 1, 0, but remember, we have a domain for this first graph that x has to be strictly greater than 0. And the way you find your domain of a logarithm is whatever your argument is, you set that value greater than zero. It can't be equal to zero, because as you see, when it equals zero, there's an error. So, next one we want to grab is when our base is not a common log. Here, our base is four. So what we have to do, if you have an older operating system, is to use your change of base formula which says, in order to enter this into the calculator, your calculator only understands a base of 10, which is the LOG button, or a base of E, which is the natural log button. If your base is anything else other than that, we use a change of base formula. So you take the log of your argument divided by the log of your base. And this is equivalent to log base for base. So we go to our y equals, we have our log of x, we are going to divide that by the log of 4. So a key thing is you want to make sure it close that parentheses behind the argument. So when we graph this, graph is very similar, but is higher. Same thing, we can use our table feature. So we press second and graph, we go to our table. Our domain is still the same because you just take your argument, set that greater than zero. So you still have to start with values larger than zero when you're graphing this. And then you can always scroll in your table to find other values. So log base 4 of 4 is 1 because our 4 to the first power equals 4. The next easy one that we can calculate in order to obtain an integer, if we have log base 4 of 16, 4 to the what power gives you 16? That value is 2. So if you're graphing this by hand, just pick the easiest exponents to deal with.